The View's Sonny Hostin melts down over Nikki Haley's I Have Black Friends comment. Oh, shit. Let's just hear it, man. Oh, shit. That could Excuse be the, my French, y'all. That would actually be the dumbest shit you could say. That is literally one of the worst comments you could ever say in life. Now, the, now we're going to have to agree with The View now. Oh, I don't want to no. do that, man. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. That's, I'm awesome. that's how you know Nikki Haley is bad because she's making us agree with the view. Oh, no, that's oh, yeah, that that's a, it'd be. A, I thought it'd be a cold day in hell. <laughs> he said a cold day in hell. Yeah, it's freaking snowing out there. They build snow globes down but, there. But y'all gotta remember, snowing. they be itching for that anyway, though. So you know, she she did that upon herself. So. Itching for what? Feeling offended and racist. Oh, so she brought that upon herself to say that. Let's uh, let's see. Let's get some context here. Some of my best friends are that black. Never works. Can, can, can I, can can I, can I, never can I do a public? Public service announcement as yeah. the black person on the panel. Dang. You got a new logo? Okay, okay. I was gonna say Chris Christie, though, came out and said that you gave that answer not because in his, uh, in, you're, in his words, dumb or racist, but because you're, quote, unwilling to offend anyone by telling the truth. What do you say to that? No one's ever said that I am unwilling to offend. I offend plenty of people because I call people out when they do something wrong. Um, what I will tell you is Chris Christie is from New Jersey. I should have said slavery right off the bat. But if you grow up in South Carolina. Huh? What the f***? I'm trying to figure out what the hell Chris Christie is. Slavery. Was. They didn't say nothing about that. No, she, said, she, said, she, said, she said Chris Christie says you're unwilling to offend anyone by telling the truth. Is what she said. But she said I offend a lot of people all the time because I call people out when they do things. And she said I'll start off by saying Chris Christie's from New Jersey. Just let it pass. Yeah, but she why she said New Jersey and slavery? Yeah, because that's what because 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 she was doing a panel. Panel and uh, somebody was asking her why the Civil War was fought, and she wouldn't say it was fought over slavery. So that's what that context okay, is from. Okay. She literally like dodged the question. She said it was fought over something. I don't remember what she said, oh, they might say, but they she might didn't say. say it was fought over slavery, and she was getting a lot of heat and backlash for that. Well, let's, let's see. So that's the context to, that you were missing if you didn't know that. Chris Christie though came out and said that you gave that answer not because in his uh, in, you're in his words dumb or racist but because you're, quote, unwilling to offend anyone by telling the truth. What do you say to that? No one's ever said that I am unwilling to offend. I offend plenty of people because I call people out when they do something wrong. Um, what I will tell you is Chris Christie is from New Jersey. I should have said slavery right off the bat. But if you grow up in South Carolina, literally in second and third grade, you learn about slavery. You grow up and you have, you know, I had black friends growing up. It is a very talked about thing. We have a big history in South Carolina when it comes to, you know, slavery, when it comes to all the things that happened with the Civil War, all that. I was over, I was thinking past slavery and talking about the lesson that we would learn going forward. I shouldn't yeah, have done that. Up. I should have said slavery. But in mm. in my mind, that's a given that everybody associates the Civil War with slavery. Uh, maybe. I don't know. <gasps> she said in South Carolina. My second grade curriculum. I don't remember grade. my second grade yeah, curriculum. Not in history. But I maybe. Could, I couldn't tell you shit I learned in second grade. Yeah, exactly. But y'all y'all remember any time you were talking about some slavery with your friends. Yeah, I was going to give her give her the benefit of the doubt. I had black friends. I was going to give her the benefit of the doubt and say that maybe her black friends were talking about it. But that's what I thought that's what she meant. But she did say school. So I can't even give her the benefit. When I was growing up, I had black friends. You had. And so don't I have don't any. think that was that bad. I don't think it was that bad either. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. I really don't think it's that bad at all. Yeah, you got to see the uh, the original context of what she said. But yeah, no, that wasn't like, what she said wasn't that crazy. Yeah, it wasn't crazy yet at all. You know, but was, she I, did try to sprinkle it in that. Cringe, I had black friends cringe. to make yeah. it seem like she's not a racist and she cares yeah, she about definitely, slavery. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. She, she did definitely. sprinkle that in there. It's like cringe, but I wouldn't like paint her as a, she's yeah. a racist. Yeah, yeah, no, well, I don't think I don't think that's what the goal was. No, I think, but the view, the people on the view but well, we haven't seen what that. they said yet, so yeah, let's, let's not let's not do assumptions. Do, you know, you know, uh, uh, my fault. I was gonna say I hate when people that's trying not to be offensive, but it comes off so offensive. Like when I don't think try, it's offensive though, bro. And I, I know I'm not calling her being offensive, but you know when people try their hardest to you know try like to say, oh, I'm not. Well, if you try not to be racist and you it, say something it, racist, then I actually it, it, it helps it, me a little bit. It makes me not look at it as offensive as as you know as offensive. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't hurt me when you say I don't, I'm not trying to be racist, but shit, that make me feel better. Me. <laughs> Some of my best friends are that black. Never works. Can, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I do a public service announcement as yeah. the black person on the panel? 
Non-black people, when you are trying to convince someone that you are not racist, do not say, I have black friends. And that applies to everyone. I think that's pretty smart, pretty uh, good people take. Do it every, they do it with the LGBTQ like, community. Like, you can like, fill in the blank like, with like, Jewish people. And why, why, but why I think is we, that? Explain it's tokenism. Why. It, it is tokenism to the extreme. Mm -hmm. And the fact that I'm you are sorry, trying. But if we flip it around, if someone says, hey, you're racist to white people, what are you going to say? I have white friends. They're gonna say. I'm just gonna say it's I'm, impossible I'm, to be racist. I'm gonna say I'm not racist. Nah, I'm gonna be real though. I'm well, I'm asking, what would you say? I would say my mom is white. I'm half white. <laughs> well, I know that. Okay, what but, would you uh, say? I would literally just say I'm not racist. That's the I same would, thing. I went to a BWI. But what I didn't like what she said though, and she what she All said right, to no, non-black people. I don't like how she said like, oh, to non-black people. When you're trying to convince someone you're not racist, why do you have to sit there and convince them? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the part I got hung up on. That's the biggest problem because y'all are already giving them like looking at them like they're racist and putting them in defense mode. So then, not speaking for Nikki Haley, but for a lot of people. So that's why they'll probably say that. And it comes then they get nervous. And it gets, they're, like, they're nervous because you're trying to make them, like, you're a bad person, you're a racist. They're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, okay, but, she could have kind of made it uh, uh, better though. She could have said it better. I could see why people could be upset about it. Yeah, because she's a politician. I'm yeah, just talking about yeah, what, that, that, that was kind of stupid low key now I think about it. I don't think it was that bad, you know, in another like room, but as a, a, positive, a positive politician, you, you wouldn't yeah, not say yeah. like that. I wouldn't take You could have been like, yeah. I grew up in a predominantly black area. I never grew up to be racist. I yeah. never, you know, she could have said it a different way than that. Since I have, and black you know, friends. What's, you know, it's crazy. It's a lot of black people that's in New Jersey too. So that's why I wonder why did it. I don't yeah, know. I don't know what Chris Christie like. I don't understand. Like, but did Chris Christie was her. Chris Christie, but like, no, he was, was trying to. He, he was trying to say he agreed with her, but she was trying to say I'm from the South, so that's the reason why I be talking about the Civil Remember War. About what? The Civil War. That's why she oh, was yeah, talking about slavery. Yeah, I, I don't about think that. he was agreeing with her. He was saying she was wasn't saying, trying to go offensive. Yeah. Uh, no, he's saying she's afraid to be offensive because okay. she, she's she's unable to tell the truth. Well, the Civil so War she was, was fought for a lot of th different things, though. But slavery was the biggest person, point. Yeah. Slavery was the number one thing. That was because yeah. the North was trying to abolish slavery because they were make their economy was flourishing through other endeavors, like because they had established railroad industrial tracks and revolution. industrial revolution. In the South, the main thing was slavery and tobacco and, and cotton and all that. Uh, I mean, so but, so they. Was like hell no, we're not getting rid of this. Like damn, we are. We ready to fight yeah, about it. Like so then we went been, to war. Literally, that's that's literally it summarized yeah, yeah, as yeah. simply as I can put it. Yeah, it could have been maybe like fifty percent of the reason. What do you mean, brother? What's the other reason, brother? No, I just it, told it, you it, the reason. I know he said the other reasons were yeah, like cotton and stuff like that. that is, slaves that were is, getting yeah. that. Yeah, I know. Slaves, slaves were like, cutting well, cotton. Think, slaves were business. shutting tobacco. It you're saying you're saying they didn't do it because they cared about black people necessarily. Is that what you're saying? I say it's more of a business. I say it's more of a business. It was a business thing. It was the, more the, 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 the North's economy, yeah, that, that's a, yeah. the North's economy was, was flourishing sure with yeah. other things, and the South was mainly flourishing through slavery. Yeah. Things yeah. like cotton and tobacco. Yeah, Guess who was getting the cotton and tobacco? Slaves. So they was like, "No, we're not finna free these people and get yeah. rid of the main thing that's driving our economy." So they said, "Well, we're ready to leave the Union and go to war about it." Yeah. Yeah. So they created slaves the Confederate were, States yeah. and went to war. Yeah, slaves were helping them. You know, they slaves were, helping, were helping not helping economy. them. Slaves not were driving their, their economy. Well, yeah, yeah, driving their economy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I say, you remember I said so, back yeah. in the day, like, if America didn't end slavery, we probably would have been like a third world country. No okay. So, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I don't know about I, I, that one. I, so, yeah, I, I, I can see, see why. Us, I can see us as a third uh, world country. Third world, do you know what a third world country is? Yes. I, we would not have been developed. We weren't, even, we weren't even a third world country when we had slaves, brother. Look, no, no. Let's get back to <laughs> I point think though. it would not have <laughs> been as developed as it was Bro, now. I mean. Because it would have been more people keep trying to have slavery. It's going to keep nah. growing, and they're going to keep taking land, right, trying to get more profit, more everything. The industry. Industries and all them big buildings spread throughout America after that. That's when you no, start seeing true. cities that's everywhere. True. That's, that's true. what I say. But we wouldn't be a third world country. We weren't a third world country yeah, when we had slaves. Yeah, yeah. So that, we wasn't that, a third world a, country. No. Do you know what a third world country <laughs> is? So what we was considered around that time before Probably. we didn't even have the whole United well, States. Bro, we didn't have the whole we, United we, States we yet. We weren't a third but world we country. Had, what we, we considered then? Probably we second money. world country. If you got money, we didn't have technology at the time. America had money. Yes, we did. We had technology. Technology wasn't advanced, but we had technology. That's not a Do you know what a cotton gin is? That's not technology. Okay. We had freaking uh, electricity. There not was yet, technology, yeah, yeah. brother. During when it was Especially during we with talk slavery. About, we talking about yes. That. If we talk about the Confederate and the Union, definitely. Now, if we talk about the 13 colonies, yeah, maybe. Yeah, uh, when they first got here, maybe it was for the first two weeks. For sure, but yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we didn't have technology. The 13 I was going to say that people that think that it wasn't fought for slavery, I was like, maybe that's not a bad take, but it actually is a bad take because, yeah, the South, that's what they needed. Yeah. They needed that. So that's what they mean is they didn't do it to for the moral. 
freedom of yeah. like, the morality okay. of it. Of so, we need to free these people. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we're yeah. gonna go fight a war. No, it was more y'all messing with our money, so we need to go fight right, a yeah, war. Yeah. The North, they might have. But there was also a bunch of people probably like you know, on top of that, that's messed up how y'all doing them. Some of my best friends are that black. Never can, can I, can I, can I, never can I do a public service announcement as yeah. the black person on the panel? Non-black people. When you are trying to convince someone that you are not racist, do not say, I have black friends. And that applies to, Ever. That applies to every minority group. People do it every. They do it with the LGBTQ like, community. Like, you can like, fill in the blank like, with like, Jewish people. And why, why, but why I think is we, that? It's, it's tokenism. It, it is tokenism to the extreme. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you are trying to convince me that you have black friends just tells me that you don't. But, and you know, okay. and it's, 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 it's insulting. South Carolina, right? Isn't she from South Carolina? Yeah, it's insulting. She, she also said during this that it's although insulting. she is the daughter of Indian immigrants, she doesn't really feel any kind of race. And I was troubled by that because the Indian culture is a beautiful culture. It's an inclusive culture. It's a strong culture. It's an old culture. Can't she you feel someone vote. without the race? Uh, well, yes, of course you can. But for her to say that she just doesn't identify with that at all. Well, she changed her name. Was, was troubling to me. Yeah, see, they was, they was getting a little deep As there. As the black woman on the panel. Yeah, that's a piss. They was getting a little woke. Yeah, that's a piss. You can't off. say this. Yeah, that pissed me well, off. Well, let's, let's talk about this much. for a second. Yeah, I want to hear what though. Me too. If a person is claiming that they understand the struggle of black people, but they don't have any black people that they know, don't you think, don't you find that kind of interesting? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it would be interesting to know if you want to bolster your point and say look i have people in my family that exactly. are black or i have a black niece so i have black friends who i communicate with that helps me we talk about these things i'm qualified on the topic because we talk about these things and people that i love and trust i'm i'm invested in their life and i know what they go through because they told me about it oh my God. and it's funny to me that black people Especially, uh, Sonny Holston is, is dumb. I don't even, she probably <laughs> biracial anyway. But Sonny Holston and, and these ignorant women bother me. She it's is. funny that black people can say, hurt like her. I'm not talking about the smart black people. Uh, you know, I, I'm talking about the dummies. And, and in every race, there's some dummies, right? We call them the ignorants. So <laughs> in her mind, black people can look at a white person and say, you don't know, <clears throat> you don't know what I go through because you ain't black. But they the first one to talk about everything white people privileges they have and all kinds of other stuff that white people have going for them. How do you know what privilege white people have and you ain't white? Mm. <laughs> oh, see, you know what white people think and how they feel about black people. He do. You ain't never been white. Mm. That's like a white person telling a black person how they think and feel. Facts. If you don't That's accept exactly that, same. then why are you doing it? Facts. It's the same thing. If you don't want to be, they talking about tokenism. <laughs> Well, listen, fool, you're saying as the only black person on the panel, is that not tokenism? <laughs> Aren't you, are you the Facts. token black Damn. woman? Hold on, bro. Damn, he's poking holes. You know, they got he go Whoopi Gold turds on there, but she wasn't on there at the time. So as the black woman on the panel, let me tell you about tokenism. It, it, and it's the irony is crazy. That's, crazy. That's the crazy part. He and it, it's we shouldn't even be doing this in America today. Yeah, we shouldn't. Martin Luther King said this. A long time ago, judging people by the content of their character, not the color of their skin. Well, man, uh, he just fried they ass up. He just, Better than he I just pointed out her because I, didn't, I like didn't even I didn't peep those points. I didn't peep those points at all. all. No, yeah. If some, if We're I still like, young, if still comes learning. off as racist to me, and they can knock on my door as a kid, I'm gonna say whatever, whatever. A kid, not a kid, adult. And you say, bro, I mean, you give, you pleading your point. You say, I have my friends. I feel like I, that that helps the point to me. To me, it, it actually helps me. I feel like if you actually take that wrong, then that's the most snowflake shit it could ever like it could ever be. People say anything wrong though. No, I can't. It's just but like I, in I the context, it's cringe, it's just, it's cringe to, like, to say it because because of how people have talked about people saying it so much, like on Twitter and social media now. Now when you see it, you know, because you know how people, especially black people, see or how people take it whenever people say that now. So that's why it cringes me. Only most. reason I get cringed because I know you're not trying to really physically be racist. And I feel yeah, like we it's never hurting you. Racist in the first place. Yeah, I feel like it's hurting you when you say that. I got yeah, black okay, friends. That's the thing, though. I'm just so. <laughs> that's people, why it cringes me. Okay, that's the thing though. That I feel like it majority of the time it actually like helps the black person not look at them a racist. So I feel like some people might take it and use it as like as an advantage and try to 
like use that and you know try to like make yeah. black people come into them you know because they yeah. know that shit opens you up yeah. you know and it opens me up at that I point in the racist. conversation where it's so far to where they have to say that no matter what they say you're gonna think they're racist anyways yeah. if they didn't say that and you were already and they felt like they needed to say that to defend themselves then you already are assuming that they're racist and if they say that then you're gonna so so there's nothing they could have said at all to change what you're thinking yeah man that shit man yeah but I don't think we gonna move the country forward if we keep uh, fighting over this stupid ass race shit man yeah <laughs> it is 2024 we have to stop guys but let us know what y'all think about Nikki Haley and Sonny Houston guys